Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is busy rolling out the early stable version of Chrome version 116, which is our next stable release. And the early stable versions, as I have posted previously, rolled out for a small percentage of users, with the majority of users getting the release next week. So as you can see, most of you, including myself, will not get the early stable. I'm still on version 115, but the official stable of 116 uh, will roll out starting next week, the Tuesday, uh, Tuesday the 15th. And the early stable always rolls out a week before the actual official stable, as I've mentioned in previous videos. So just a quick video just to go through more or less what to expect. And obviously, this is not a comprehensive list because... Uh, Google hasn't officially um, given us any release notes, but um, just kind of a guesstimate of more or less what we can expect to see according to what Google has been working on and according to the Chrome platform status. Now, first of all, um, this early stable rolled out on the 9th, which was late yesterday in my region. And when it does become the official stable, we'll bump up the version and build to version 116.0.5845.82, and that will be for Windows and Mac users. Now, I would consider the so-called key highlight to be that, as I mentioned in a video I posted yesterday, which I'll leave a link to down below, before Google Chrome version 116, um, Google published security updates for Chrome on a bi-weekly basis which was every two weeks. Now, this is changing. And as mentioned in that video yesterday, according to a recent announcement by Google, Google now plans to switch to a weekly schedule for releasing security updates. But go check that video out and that'll give you more info. But that's a feature that's starting to uh, be put into place next week with version 116. Now, um, just to go through some of the other kind of um, improvements we more or less can expect to see, uh, there will be improvements for the backwards and forwards cache. So if you are moving between websites using your backwards and forwards buttons, then apparently we could see some improvements when it comes to performance regarding the backward forward cache. Moving on to the next, um, there are some display and content visibility animations that Google is working on, which says this support allows for developers to create exit animations after which the element automatically becomes the display. So we can expect to see um, some animations when exiting in the Chrome web browser that developers can start working on. And talking about display and so on, if we just head over quickly to uh, Chrome Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version, um, as mentioned with the Chrome UI refresh, we could start seeing some more of the elements coming through when it comes to icons in the toolbar, and layout changes and so on. And with version 115, as I did post on, one of those changes was we got the larger Omnibox and address bar. So we could see subtle changes rolling out when it comes to the user interface uh, moving their way down from the preview versions now with the Chrome refresh into the stable version. And then something else to take note of, um, the picture-in-picture when it comes to document in picture in picture is getting some improvements. Now, what this is all about, as I've mentioned in previous videos, um, just to enter pip quickly, document picture in picture um, is where the website can provide custom controls and inputs that will also provide new useful video conferencing controls to improve your picture in picture video experience. And this is a feature that Google has been working on. So we could see um, some improvements roll out for the document in picture in picture window with version 116. And then they're also going to be rolling out a new experimental flag, which may be of benefit when it comes to PWAs and web apps, which is called borderless mode. And the Chrome platform status says when borderless mode is enabled for installed desktop web apps, the app's client area is extended to cover the entire window, including the title bar, and window and control buttons like your close, maximize, restore, minimize buttons as well. So that's um, going to be hidden behind an experimental flag, borderless mode when it comes to your web apps and your PWAs. And then that's just some of the features we can expect uh, to see and improvements we can expect to see roll out according to the Chrome platform status. But obviously, this is not a comprehensive list and this is not 
a confirmation of actual features rolling out because as mentioned we haven't received any release notes and over and above new features and improvements obviously uh, we will see important security updates roll out which do with every major version upgrade and as mentioned the key highlight being that now we will be getting security updates every week now in google chrome as opposed to the previous bi-weekly two-week schedule and that will be rolling out now with version 116 next week and as mentioned, that's the early stable now available for a limited subset of users. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.